Welcome guys back to the Garage 11 channel. We're gonna have a little bit of an update from last week as well as what we've got coming up this week at Garage 11. Now, we generally try to bring you one once a week, but we didn't last week. We were busy with a lot of stuff. So we've got some pretty cool things that we are doing at the moment. Um, so let's have a look at some of the stuff we've got in. This week, I think we're gonna be doing a Boydy bike episode. So stay tuned for that. That's actually gonna be pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna try and get all the airbox and everything back into this wonderful beast. Excuse the engine, it's in there because we are 3D printing some test pieces. So we've got a little bash carbon bash plate we're gonna be doing. So the beautiful thing about that is with the 3D printing and the CAD modeling. So what we did is we had this frame scanned, 3D scanned. Then we can take it into CAD, we can then design the parts that we want and then 3D print them on our little printer and then we can fit them up to make sure they're gonna fit first. We'll run through a little bit more of that process on the Boydy bike as we're getting through it, which is, is gonna be super cool. Like a lot of that stuff is, like the technology that's available now for a lot of that stuff is absolutely wild. So we're really able to flex a lot of new carbon bits we're designing some cool stuff. We're trying to recreate some old stuff like the old DSP guards and water pump guard. And we're putting our own little touch on it because at the end of the day, we like to put our own little spin on things. So we're going to be working on that, which is going to be a lot of fun. Like the bike itself, I mean, it's not much to look at yet. We are going to have to re-powder coat it because obviously in through here when we weld the water pump on, the little mounts for it, obviously we're gonna to have to re-powder coat through there. Same with the tabs, we're gonna weld on tabs for the bash plate. Um, we're gonna try and do some frame guards for it as well, or, or like frame guards for the steel frame YZs in general, which is gonna be cool. Titanium, we love titanium here. Got a titanium pivot coming for this too. So that's gonna be super cool. Like a lot of that stuff is, this bike's gonna be trick. We had, um, Lee Hogan was in today. He had a look at it, he was pretty excited. He's actually, I reckon, we're gonna try and get Mr. Hogan on the Garage 11 CR500, which is gonna be really cool to watch. So we're gonna, he gave us a few jetting spec tips today as to what he used to run when he raced the CR500s back in 94, I think he said his was. Um, so that's going to be really cool. It's going to be cool to get him on it. We're going to, obviously it's got the new engine and stuff in that bike, but I think we're going to have to, we'll go over it. Like I said, we're going to readjust this, the jetting because we're not overly happy with it at the moment. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be cool. We've got a few still things on the go. As you can see, the giveaway bike for Osmoto Group, the CR hasn't exactly, um, we haven't exactly finished, well, we haven't exactly been able to do much on it because we're still waiting for the pipe, but that's okay. We're gonna be doing some more on the 91 CR 250 and we're just waiting on the muffler for the 94 250 there. We have had a little bit of progress on the other Osmoto Group bike, the KX500. Um, excuse the tank, we're waiting on our new white tank and seat covers and stuff to come in for that. But um, we're slowly making progress on this one. Shouldn't be too long. I know it doesn't look like it's that, it's got a lot to go, but by the time we get the forks in it, shock, wheels on it, and some more plastics, it's gonna be pretty full. We're just gonna literally be waiting on the engine for that one. We did the shock today, as you can see here. We machined, re machined the face on some of this stuff here bit of burnt bronze, bit of re-zinc plate a couple of bits, but that's okay. But the shock essentially is all nicely rebuilt, new bits and pieces, so that's gonna be cool. We've had the Boydie Olin's forks. So they're 01 triple clamps on that bike. And they're 2015 YZ forks, well Olin's forks, kit forks, 48 mils. So we've just bored out the centers of those triple clamps so that we can actually get 
So we can keep the original triple clamps and fit the new front end in it, which is always a good option because then we can retain all the original plastic mounting points, all that stuff that we need to do to make that bike stay original and, and period correct, if that makes sense. We've also got a, we're gonna be doing a video on cleaning this filthy thing up. This is gonna look good when it's done. Trust me, we've got a trick up our sleeve that makes air boxes look really good. Le Banchi. Now this thing is getting pretty close to being finished. What are we waiting on? Um, we are waiting on the transfer boots for the electrons, um, filters, and then got to bleed the rear brakes or the rear brake, sorry. We've got to keep bleeding the front brake. This thing's been an absolute nightmare to bleed up, but that's okay. It's even got lights on it now. Love the little banshee lights. They look cool when you get lights. I like these things. A lot of people, a lot of hate on them, but a lot of, like they're polarizing. Not hate, they're just polarizing. I think they're super cool. They're very, very uh, big in the 90s, big in the early 2000s. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one of those things, like they're just cool. I, I really like them. Now, this bike here, we had come in last week and it's one of seven, well, six, seven, it's debatable. Anyway, there was only six or seven of these bikes brought into Australia in 1985, the last year they were produced because no one wanted the other two years prior to it. But now they're worth a lot of money. And here we go, 1985 RM500. Disc brake front end from factory, air cooled. Look at this thing, wild stuff. Bit of WP up there. Uh, my favorite part of this, if you look at it carefully enough, that rear wheel doesn't look like it's pointing in the right direction. Um, but this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be a really cool bike with a DG pipe on it. This is gonna be a really cool bike to build. Um, obviously a lot of, it's gonna be a challenging bike as they all are, these older 80s bikes. Um, it's, they're always gonna be like, what is going on there? Some sort of like plate welded in through here. That's wild. Holy, is it WP shock? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. WP shock in there. You can see the adjuster. It's got here. So that's going to be that's going to be fun to rebuild. The last time we had to get a uh, shock seal for the one down the back there, it was like seventy-five bucks for the head seal, um, and it was the last one in the country. So I'm going to try and find another one, but that's okay. DG pipe, this is what we do, like this is, this is great. I love seeing this sort of stuff. Like all this stuff is, is just like, what are the tubes like? Don't know, I don't know what's down here, but not a bad start. So you just don't want any pitting or anything on these. Well, I mean, it's not too bad. We've got a, a good company that re-chromes them for us if need be. Um, so that's gonna be cool. The fun bit's going to be finding components for, to rebuild the brakes and a disc. Yeah, I just want a disc for a 1985 RM500. Sure, we've got one on the shelf. Um, caliper rebuilds, I reckon this will be pretty Kawasaki-esque internally. Um, looking at it, I mean, it's a little bit different externally, but I think you'll probably find a lot of the, the seals and stuff are going to be quite different. I like how they were able to get the Suzuki ignition cover on upside down. That's cool as. Makuni, that's what you want, an air leak on a 500. That'd be great. So yeah, like this, this thing's gonna be cool. This thing's gonna be cool as, cannot, what the, the wing nuts? What is going on there? Yeah. That's gonna be interesting. I think we should probably make some of these. 
Um, yeah, so this one's going to be cool. Like I said, super rare bike. Um, there's a, only, a, like I said, six or seven of them in, that came into Australia as Australian delivered units. This being one of them. Funny enough, I actually had someone ring me today about another one. Um, so yeah, we've had contact with the two out of the six or seven RM85 RM500s that came into the country, which is, is cool. Like I really, really like this sort of stuff. I'm really looking forward to getting into it. Um, what else have we been up to? We haven't really done much to the 83. Still waiting on the seat to come back for that. I reckon that's gonna be back hopefully tomorrow. So that'll start to fill that out. Um, actually, anyone who, does anyone have a shock absorber that they wanna part with for a 1983 KX125? That would be absolutely divine. If anyone can let me know in the comments or get in contact with the page, that'd be awesome. Um, because yeah, we're definitely up for a part, a shock for that one. Um, what else? We're gonna start on this. The 92, dressed as a 94, CR250. This is gonna be another giveaway bike for Osmoto Group. So we're gonna get into this. This one's actually gonna be cool. We're gonna do, um, we've got DC Plastics. We've got these, so we're going to try and run that works look for it, which is going to be cool. I think they're super cool looking bike, very popular. Um, it's interesting to see like the old warning stickers and stuff on it as well, which means that I got my stickers in the right spot for the 94 over there. Um, what else we got? Original radiators. It's always nice to see original rads. I'm not opposed to the quote unquote cheap Chinese radiators. I think, like I've always said, I'd rather see bikes on the track than sitting in a shed waiting for a part that's home he's never gonna find, then he finds it and he's too scared to ride the bike because he's never gonna find that part again if he fences it. Um, they need rails for sure. Um, so yeah, like I said, but it's always nice. It is nice to see OEM radiators on a bike that don't have holes in them and look fairly straight. So that's gonna be cool. Top end's back for this 84 RM500. We're waiting on titanium axles to be made, which should be done this week. Then we will rebuild the top end, try and start it again, and hopefully we have a far better go of it this time than we did last time. Barrel's on its way back for this too, so hopefully we can be in the same boat with these two, because I'd really like to get these two finished up and out of here, because they've been around for a while. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where we've been at. All we've got, RM250 frame. This is almost a candidate for some 3D scanning. I reckon some DSP replica guards need to be made. Bash plates. So when the 3D scanner arrives, we're gonna be doing a lot more stuff. We've bought a 3D scanner to have in-house here, which is gonna be good. Um, so yeah, here's Barry. Yep. Can you put computer print off to be rebuilt? RM500, oh, RM500, I wish. RM250 cases, KX500 cases all cleaned up and we're going to get ready to rebuild that which is going to be cool uh what else got a 92 yz which is going to be one of my bikes coming in that's the engine bottom end for it so we're going to be rebuilding that and hopefully riding it pink and white thing that's going to be cool i, I love all those old like those 90s early 90s yz's they were shit handling and they weren't real fast so be cool to see if we can actually get that thing to, to go forward. I know there's a few tricks you can do, um, but we'll have a little play. Uh, that's already been match ported through the bottom. We'll probably try and up the compression. Um, I just got to measure the head and do a little calculation to figure out what it should be or what we can up it to. Um, and then have a look at some of the port timing and see where it's at. Um, but yeah, so that's where we've been at. That's a little bit of a vlog update for everyone. Um, like I said, we've got heaps of stuff going on at the moment, which is super cool. We're going to be doing a body video this week, and we might even bring you a retro gear 
not gear from not 90s gear, but gear that you wear from the 90s. Um, look at and a little bit of a deep dive into that. We did a podcast with Mr. Mitch Worrell a while ago about it, but it'd be cool to get that sort of stuff in and film it and have a look at what's there. And, you know, I think Marshall from um, Vision Concepts will probably help out with that one again. And it's always going to be cool. It's always fun to sort of banter through some of the old styles and the old stuff that was was the 90s, the 2000s, and even today's gear. We'll have a look at that. So if you're enjoying the channel, guys, please like do all the bits and pieces, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff, because it does help us out and it's motivating. I know a lot of you guys have jumped on board and it's cool. It's motivating to help us keep bringing more content um, and keep putting the effort in because uh, we love it. It's great. And this is a piece. So that's where we're at. That's this week's vlog. Thank you for watching and keep tuning in to see all the new stuff we've got coming up. All right, guys. Bye.